Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Pagan Crafting. And today we are going to make a 2023 moon calendar. So first we're going to lay down, I have my sketch that I've worked on and I've been inking it while I've been waiting to go live and I'm excited. So today we're going to rock the ink first and then we are going to lay down the color. So let me all know where you're from once you sign on. Let me say hi, see what's going on. We're just going to start off with some stars here on this one. I should, I wish I could have music playing, but I would need to have uncopyrighted music playing for YouTube. So I am also opened up to chats, questions, fun, anything we can think of. Ooh. Open up the forum today and we can have some fun. That's right. Anybody have any plans for the new moon tonight? What is shaking in with that? New moon for me is I'm continuing on a dream spell I am working on. It's a four-day dream spell. Takes a little dedication, but well worth it. And I've been I've been set the spell so someone else will dream of me is the intention, but the dreams I've been having with the connection is unreal. I should write that in the, because I did a video on it as well. I should write that into the description. Be warned. <laughs> you will also have intense dreams. That's right. So what I'm going to be doing with this calendar as I, I'm going to be painting the whole background here first. And then I'm going to be uh, scanning it into my computer and then superimposing it into Canva. And I'm not promoting Canva. It's just there's, it's, I could use it as free. And it works. And it works and it works really great. I see we had a couple people on. Hello, hello, where you're from? Let me down in the comments below if you're able to. So this part's only going to take a few more minutes. So those of you that are just kind of saying, okay, I'm waiting for the picture here. You can either tune, wait, hang out a little bit or tune back in in a couple minutes. And I'll be starting the color momentarily. So quiet in the house today. So weird. I guess this is my first live stream, so people may not be completely aware when it's on. It's weird. I couldn't do a premiere for this one. Usually you can rock a premiere.
feel so quiet. I'm when I ink, I'm quiet. I'm sorry. Need some conversation here. See what's going on with the followers who's joining, what is coming in. I'm used to a lot more dialogue. I also have a tarot channel, so I do a lot of live tarot readings. And this is, I'm used to talking the whole time. This is crazy. This is something new for me. Yeah, I haven't done a live crafting show before, so this is fun. Okay, it's crazy because it's backwards when it's on the camera when I look up here. All righty, I get I keep my head if I look if I do the lining while I watch the camera on the screen, it's crazy. A little backwards. Do I need any more stars anywhere? Yeah. Alrighty. Now for our next, we're going to start hitting the moon here. Still setting up here a little bit. Let's see here. So starting off the moon here, and then I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to go into the crystals or reflection first. Oh, kind of nervous doing the crystals, to be honest. I haven't painted crystals before. But I've painted anything and everything I can think of, so should be all right. All right. Hmm. Well, all you pagan witches, where y'all from here? Throw me down in the comments where you're from. I would love to hear where everyone is, where they're at, what time they're at. I love seeing that. I think that's so cool. We used to do a shout out on the tarot channel, what everybody's uh, astrology signs were too. <laughs> we don't need to do that here, but it was just fun on that channel. Everybody all... Yeah, yeah, I'm an Aries too. I'm a Leo too. All 
Hmm, I need a different brush. This one is not doing it for me. Where did I put all my other brushes? I'll be back one second here. I think I'm stuck. Oh, the dog is outside howling. I think he wants in. Oh, this is not the type of brush I need, but I don't know where I put my other brushes. Mm -hmm. Definitely a little easier, a little easier to cover some area. Oh no, I just realized I forgot to erase all my pencil lines. Oh, so glad I caught it. Okay, I'm gonna move my water. Oh, so glad I caught it. Oh, I would have locked in those pencil lines as I did on some of that yellow, but luckily I'm going to be doing some layers on the moon so I can hide some of those pencil lines. Oh, that's better. It's not so smudged either. Oh, see, it's been a while since I've painted with kind of watercolor -y this bit. Usually I graffiti paint, oh no, graffiti paint the canvas and then I use acrylic paint over top of it. Not too often I'm, I use my watercolor, but I have been on this channel, which has been exciting. I haven't used my watercolor pad in a while. All right. There we go. That's a little brighter. Hmm. I wonder if I can reach my paintbrush. I'm going to try. Oh, I don't really don't like this paintbrush that I have. Well, I will just have to make do. I'll just lay a foundation down first, and then I'll start laying in some layers. Ooh. Everybody's so quiet. It checks it out. They head out. They come back. So many quiet people. I wonder, is it is the chat on? <laughs> Everybody's so quiet here with Pagan Crafting. I had to put on the subscribers mode simply because to, to keep the bots away. So it wasn't a ploy. It was more just to kind of keep the spammers away. Because then they got to take the time to sign up before they spam you. And they don't always do that. Let's see if I can... I, See if I can get some. Uh, no, I better not say that. <laughs> I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be good. So we are coming up to February in a couple weeks. I can't get over that. According to the wheel, it's like basically the beginning of spring. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not beginning of spring here, that's for sure. Okay. 
can't get over how y'all are so quiet. <laughs> so used to like live shows being lit up. Maybe it's just a little too early in the day yet. Hmm, I just gotta switch brushes. So I've been trying to think of crafts that I could do for in bulk and it's not any, I guess be the candles, the corn dolly, but they're, some of the sabbats are really hard to like come up with craft ideas for. So definitely making some candles. It's a time of spring fertility. A star is a good one for fertility as well, but it's the growth of the seeds, but while they're still underground, maybe I'll do some green kitchen witch, not, not kitchen witchery, uh, uh, green witchery with some seeds. Maybe we can do some seed crafts, maybe some crafts to make some seed books or something that might be kind of neat. Pretty excited about the month of January, though. It's been a great kickoff. Loving everything so far. I've been dying to do. I'm very excited to do this online or live stream crafting. Oh, this is making a little bit better work of it. Just realized my little kitty's outside. I got to let her in. She snuck outside when she's not a winter kitty. My other cat is a winter kitty, but not her. She snuck out and she's at the door now. I'm sorry. I got to let her in because it, it is cold here. Let's see if I can move everything. Feeling anything. I'm moving the table. It's vibrating. All right. One moment, y'all. Sorry. Let's see if I can get that little girl in. Anyo. Anyo. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't know. Darn it. Well, she's going to have to wait outside a little bit longer. And yes, I am painting upside down for those who are watching. I tend to kind of hit that a little bit. All right. Let's see here. Let's add some darker. Let's grab some darker. And I would like some greens in there too. I need some darker yellows I would like to have.
And just mixing it in, lovely. I'm mixing watercolor and acrylic together. Hello, hello, Jules, what's going on? Welcome to Pagan Crafting. Whereabouts are you from? Whereabouts are you coming in from? So it's just a little quiet here. Should go back. So what else can we talk about here? We were yakking about uh, what's what we have plans for uh, January. January's month is all about manifesting dreams and the moon. So I've kept all that's why hence we're doing the moon calendar here. Keeping it all in the same theme. Mixing the acrylic and the watercolor looks better on camera than it does right now. It to me. Let's see here if I can bring out a little bit more. Bring a little bit more of that golden yellow, that orange. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's turning out quite nice. I'm loving the colors. I'm going to get into some greens as well, too. Just a little spot. Touch up some darker bits here and there. Yeah. Like well, that so far. All right. I need to be throw caution to the wind and I need to get into these crystals, but I'm what? I'm gonna avoid them one more time. <laughs> oh man, I totally am. I don't know what I should make these guys. What colors should they want to be? Hmm, I don't know. Let's give some lighter colors. I'll just lay in a quick little let that dry and then I'll Figure something out with it, layer it up. I can't remember the exact name of these type of mushrooms. They grow on trees along the sides of our trees here in Canada. They're like a harder fungi. Hmm. 
Alrighty, digging that. Slowly taking shape. Ooh. I wish I had my other brushes. I need some other ones, but I will have to make do with what I have with my micro little dudes. So, hmm, which one shall be which? I'm going to stare at the picture for a bit here. I don't know which color I should make my mushrooms. I got my array of color here for my purple. My aqua marines here, you can't quite see. They got the nice blues here, got the purples, magentas. I'm excited. I don't know where to start. I should just, just pick one. What's going to be the predominant one? Is it going to be a pink one or is it going to be a purple one? <sighs> these two are the same. These two are the same. No, these two are the same. These two are the same. One. These two are the same. One, two, three. These two are the same. And I think that's how I drew them. Ha ha. Okay. Right in there. I don't know what to do. I'm going to pick one. Okay, just adding some water to my paint here. Oh, slip in here. I was pulling it so I could see it. <laughs> Funny that. Crazy that, man. Oh, that's still wet there. Okay, I'm scared. Okay, I'm doing it. I want it thinner. So quiet. Oh, Jules. I recognize Jules. Now I recognize the picture. Yay. Jules has some runes on her, some tattoos. That's so cool. 
Okay, I'm feeling the mushrooms now, slowly letting go. All right. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll lay in the water first and then bring in a watercolor. Thank you. Thanks, Tamara. Yes, the star. It says, I have been painted with watercolor for oh, the only time I paint with watercolor is when I'm working on my uh, sigils recently. So I've had to kind of remember what to do. Oh, thank you, Tamara. I haven't painted crystals before. So I've been kind of procrastinating. I'm working around the crystals. So I haven't, I, I don't know what to do. I've been actually was watching YouTube videos on different, but no one has my style. And when I was looking up crystals, so I'm just really going to have to wing it when I do it. How's weather in Vancouver? Beautiful British Columbia. feeling that oh it looks lighter than it looks let's see if I can change the color here oh hmm it warms it up a touch darn it it's hard to see the exact the shade of purple I just rocked in there Mm, this shines like right on. Hmm. I think I'll add a little bit of mint green with this mushroom. Yeah, that's what it needed. Oh, I wish you could see. Let's see if I can. There we go. The light's shining like right on that one mushroom, so it's hard to catch all the color, but it's coming in. It's coming in. I remember to keep the page centered. I keep pulling it towards me. Hmm. All right. I love using mint green and purples together. It is so gorgeous.
Hmm, it's supposed to be like a lighter white or like a mint green. I think I might have to bring out some other, grab some other colors. Yay! Oh, I wish the mid green to pick up a little bit more on this one. That's okay. That's a okay. Hmm. Sorry, I gotta paint upside down from time to time. <laughs> I got a right brain girl. I'm a right brain girl. This makes it a little easier. So I'm sorry. I just got to dip it around just a little bit. And then I can swing it back around. This is actually the, the weirdest thing for me is having to keep the painting upright the whole time. I love painting wildlife when I paint my animals all upside down. When you do that, you can actually get far more detail than you ever could imagine. Even people that can't draw and paint or say they can't, if you draw or paint upside down, it's going to be amazing. You'll see so much detail, and even the person that can't paint will draw something magnificent. It's a really, really cool thing to to witness. I did it in an art class in high school one time is where I learned that. And it was really cool to see the other art students that really um, weren't artistically inclined to see them be able to draw so beautifully. Something I suggest to draw if you try, if you'd like, if you draw. All right, feeling that. All right, let's start bring in. I need some little magenta or something, some burgundy and magenta. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nope. I'm so used to painting with acrylic, not watercolor. Oh, so wet it down first. That's right. Then bring in my little tubes. Yeah, I need to separate this mushroom a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry guys, I really wish I could have some music on. YouTube prevents me from having any uncopyrighted material on. There we go. That gives it a, just a little, ah, uh, I need a little something there. Looks different on camera than it does. So I kind of like looking up on the camera and seeing where I can lay down some shiznig. Ah, uh, just spooched a bit of water on me. So hard. I want to put so much detail in. And I'm not used to painting with water. Watercolor is not as much. I guess I'm used to with the acrylics. Ooh, how does that look? A little bit. Stands out a little bit more. Ah. 
There we go. That gives it a bit more of a pop. Now to blend that in. Makes it nice and smooth. Oops. A little too much water. No problem. Done. There we go. Smooth that in. And I have no idea how long this is going to take me to paint, but I'm willing to chill out for a while. I don't know if you guys just want to grab a coffee, hang out, some good conversation. I just made a really cool, 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 cool video on... Um, I made a new spell called Dream of Me. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but all my spells on my channel, I designed myself. I um, don't, I've never really used a Book of Shadows for that. Um, oh, let's see what we have. We have such an amazing full moon tonight. Do we ever? And then this morning on my walkabout, I found some magic ones. <laughs> Some plant medicine for T. Thomas. Definitely plant medicine is the way to go. I've, I facilitate uh, plant medicine journeys, actually. Oops, this one has no stars along here. I would, I hope one day in my retreats, once Canada's laws change, I would like to felicitate plant medicine journeys with shamanic journeys. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Right now, anything like that would be illegal <laughs> to do, but privately, it's a possibility. Yeah, wolf moon tonight. So, so, so beautiful. And I have the, I can look out my window right now and the moon, I should be coming around here in a few hours. And I have the tree right outside my window here and it looks so amazing through the, with the moonlight poking through. I got my moon water set out for tonight. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms on the moon. So I don't know what I felt like doing mushrooms. I have no idea why. Let's see here. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hmm, I'm feeling that. Okay. Slowly, I don't even know what I'm doing here with my colors. I had my drawing in mind. I have my colors. I'm just shaking my head. Yes. <laughs> Tamara, we got to meet one day. That's all I got to say. We have, we have just far, far too much in common. And I bet we're around the same age too. Your experiences with the military are so, so cool. Oops, that's, oh no, I have that on me. I have, I just got, see how I can do this. I had paint on my knuckle. And I'm getting it everywhere. I need to put down my paintbrush. Stop what I'm doing. That's okay, because I'm going to be doing a background on this, but I don't want the purple on the on the white yellow. Thick. <laughs> Again, yes. <laughs> yes. It's going to happen, Tamara. It's just, it's been so many cool coincidences. And considering I'm even from the island, too. 
So we're from the same area. Both divers. I haven't dove in a long time, though. I used to dive when I lived in Australia and Ontario. And I only did snorkeling when I lived on Vancouver Island. I didn't, there wasn't really, the shore, go, the um, tide goes out pretty far. Usually I did more kayaking than um, diving on the island. That looks like a good color. Heck yeah, that'll work just nice. Ooh, that pretty in there. Okay, I gotta start painting something bigger here. I'm working. I'm was scared to work on these big mushrooms. I don't know what color I'm gonna go yet. So I'm just working on the little dudes. Oh, that one's got a moon. I'll leave that open. Little dudes, little dudes. Okay, I'm jumping in here. I gotta paint something a little bit. Or I, I gotta paint. I can paint the top of this one or this one. Fuck. I'm jumping around. Jump around. See, I need music. <laughs> mm. If you hear snoring or weird sounds, or so it's my dog right beside me. She just woke up. Goodness, Violet. She snores while she's awake, too. And she purrs, too, which is really funny. She's a Boston Terrier, and she purrs. She was raised by cats. I'm going to lean on my paper again, aren't I? She was raised by cats, and she, she totally snores. Or purr, sorry. When you pet her, she's got this little sound. It's awesome. Ooh, I'm liking that mushroom guy. Ooh, Tamara, I'm wondering, have you ever gone on a drive? And I'm not sure if Jules is still here. Jules has some, um, she's got full thigh runes on her. I don't know if you guys have gone on a shamanic journey before with drumming. It is, and it's not with mushrooms, it's just with drumming. But the journey to find your power animal or, or visiting the upper and the lower world is absolutely so cool. I was almost addicted to it for a while. It's like, it's literally, you're going to a different realms and different places. The only thing it's, it was only like, you, when I do it on my own, it, I try to bring in the drums 45 minutes to an hour. I really take my time. But um, when I'm with my shaman or training to be a shaman or felicitating, it's only a half an hour, which I just always feel I need a little bit more time when I'm doing the journey personally. I like a 45 minutes at least. I haven't, but two different drums. I ha I haven't, but I have two different drums, and it's on my list. Ah, I will find. I will let you know that I find drumming for yourself or going on a journey. I tried it, and you have to you have to drum straight for a half an hour, keeping up a beat, and it's easier to relax. If you'd like, I can email you um, a couple tracks that I use. The first one I'll, I can send you if you wish is um, it's a guided journey and it's one of the best I use I've ever found. It's on YouTube and it's uh, it's to meet your power animal. Now that's different than your spirit animal. I have a knee drum and I have a hand drum. 
have a drum for journeying. Even when I felicitate the journeying, I I use tracks as well. My arms, I just can't drum that long. It's impressive in the um in the drum circles how long how long they can go for. I wonder if I can get this in just a little bit more. See if I can get that in a little bit more. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I'll send you that playlist. Last time um, my daughter used it and she found her power animal was a deer, a female deer. And I think she was a little disappointed because I got a lioness. <laughs> um, and then we found out it was a messenger of Persephone. So she was visited by a messenger of Persephone and one of her deities she just started recently, even before she met her power animal, was uh, Persephone. My daughter works with a lot of underworld. She works with uh, she works with a little bit of tiny bit of um, Hades because of Persephone. but she works with uh, Anubis. I am not necessarily a deity. I don't necessarily work with deities myself, but my daughter even has her shrine to Anubis. Oh, here's cool. All right, let's do this one here. Hmm. What type of what color does this one want to be? This is going to be blue, I think. Yeah. Blue, blue, blue. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting. I got to lay in the color first or lay in the water first. Then I get those cool little techniques. Doop, a doop, a doop, doop. So I have a retreat planned. I've been working on a retreat for a while now. Oh, what is the difference of which between a power anim animal and a spirit animal or for journeying? Ah, okay. Uh, so spirit guides come in many different forms, as you know, for anything from angels to animals to any, anything from unicorns to creatures to lizards even. They are your guides. They're the essence of that guide. The type of guide will be the most predominant. So you have, like I have my, I have a teacher guide. I have my, uh, I guess what, I, I call him my warrior. He is my protector guide. His name is Ulrich. And I'm getting paint all over me. And it's usually the character of that person in that life will also be your protect, how they'll protect you, look after you, how they'll guide you. Shit, that's too dark. But I find the power animal is someone something that and it could be a bug it could be a lizard it could be an animal but your power animal is something that goes with you not necessary guides comes along with you along your journeys you can talk to them you can ask them questions um i can also shape shift in my journey so i can shape shift into my power animal i run like her it's so cool when I run, I can feel my paws smack and hit the ground. It's amazing. Um, we transform together, we shape shift together, we run together. I don't know, they don't really, I find my power animal necessary, doesn't guide me, but runs with me, runs beside me. Does that make sense? Hmm. 
they're like having a best friend. And as you, and you have to same thing, I guess, kind of like your, your spirit guide where you would, you can learn. And once you learn about your spirit guide, you can bring things like little offerings to them and whatnot. Uh, like Ulrich loves bluebells. When I find bluebells, I will pick some and put some on my altar for him. Now with the journeying, you will travel to the upper world where you will meet your teacher. And then the middle realm is mid realm. That is the everyday mundane. That's where you can roam and play. And I run with my, my power animal there a lot and I turn into her and we run, we just run and play. It's awesome. She teaches me some things. And the lower world is where you meet your power animal. It is so beautiful, the underworld. Mine is it, different for everyone. Mine is deep, deep, deep underground in a cave. And it's funny, my teacher lives across the rainbow bridge past um, Asgard into this marshy place. She lives in this marshy buggery of a place. It's, it's always, it's always gray and dark and rainy and moggy and foggy, <laughs> but she always has peppermint tea waiting for me. I love that. She always has my favorite tea waiting for me. Yeah, what I can do there, Tamara, I'll email you. I'll email you that uh, that link. And it's the most beautiful guided meditation. And after you've done the guided meditation a few times, I find that you don't need to be guided anymore. And as soon as you hear the drumming, you just start going into the trance state. I've been studying uh, Norse shamanic study um, for a couple of years now. And so my shamanic journeying during this venture, during this journey, <laughs> has been uh, all Norwegian, Norse, Viking. And so when I go to my upper, lower, and mid realm, it always has an influence of the, um, the Viking realms. So it's really cool because I've met giants. It's so cool. I've met giants. I've, uh, I haven't fought the giants yet, but I got some wisdom of giants. Usually once you meet a giant, they already, they always want to battle. They're always battling, but I didn't, uh, when I met my giant, that was part of my studies. I had to go find myself a giant. So I was ready. I got my sword in hand. I'm ready to battle, ready to go. But instead he asked me questions instead. I had to answer questions at a well. It was really cool. And it was all about wisdom and maturing and growing. And I think it was a little bit of a test. And hopefully I passed. I am getting paint all over my fingers. Oh my goodness. It is so cool. I like I said a couple years ago when I had to do like you're only supposed to do a journey maybe once a week, you can do once a week, you can do once a month. Um, during my studies, when I was studying with um, my shaman, it was sometimes like one, two times a day, five days a week. And it, I, it got addictive. It, like you're literally in another, another realm. It is so cool. It is so, 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 so cool. When you're on mid realm, it is this realm. So it's what you're used to seeing. Mid realm is 
you would basically go for a walk first that day, find your power tree, find some nice place to, to have a meditate under. And then when you go to your journey, you go back to that place in your mind's eye. So all your mid realm work is this, this world and all your upper world is your, is your teacher. I've met, um, Oh, what's his name? He's the guardian of the bridge of the rainbow bridge. Now I can't remember all my God's names right now. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Oh, and it's funny. I've never met Odin yet. My friend of mine who is also studying shamanic studies. Um, she's met Odin a few times on her journey, sometimes as uh, he is a raven that transforms into the cloaked figure. It is really, 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 really cool. Good for her. I'm not sure she battled her, her giant yet. I'm not sure if she's got that far in her studies yet. She had to take a little break. But we were taking the same courses. And I almost have mine all done that I'll have my intermediate shaman studies done. And I'll be a certified Norwegian sort or Norse Viking shaman, if you can be certified. And then I'll get my initiation from my shaman. I'm that's going to be exciting. All right, I'll leave that mushroom for a while. I'm messing with it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. I'm not feeling that one, so I'll come back to that one. All right, let's bring in some larger dudes here. We're going in. So again, I'm just going to lay the water down first. Just going to smooth out these lines, bugging me now. I'm messing with this one too much. But you can always do layers when it comes to watercolor. So yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go pink. I need some mint green as well. I might need to go grab. I got paint on my other table. I may need to just step up and grab that. Right on. Hello from Alaska. Hello from Canada. Hello, hello. How's it going? Angelica, what a beautiful name. Eek. Okay, I got to just grab some paint quick. I'm moving my table slowly. Can see. All right, wait one second. I'll be back in two seconds. I just gotta grab some mint green paint. Got some mint green paint. Ooh, because I am not quite good in the right mint green that I want from these colors. So I'm gonna grab some more here. Hmm. I usually don't use craft paint for my good painting, but I can't quite seem to get the right tone that I want. So I will use this. That's the color I want. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, I'm getting paint everywhere. I'm still here. We're neighbors, how cool. <laughs> 
I'm in uh, I'm in Alberta. Is where I'm rocking to, my friend. All right, so I'm gonna go back. So I like to fuck around with stuff. Oops, I shouldn't swear on this. I'll have to bleep bleep that out. Bleep bleep. Bleep bleep. Bleep bleep. bleep. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Trick of the trade. There we go. All right, back to our our pink dude here. I still don't know what I'm gonna make the colors for my for my crystals yet. Oh my gosh, I have no idea yet. So I thought I'll paint everything else around it first. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'll see what happens. Let's see. This paper is so forgiving. It is actually canvas for acrylic and oils. <laughs> so it's a little bit more forgiving than watercolor paper, I'm finding. All right, we'll let that dry. Now I'm going to go to the next one here. I'm just going to do layers on that. So we shall leave that be. Hmm. I think the giant one here I'm going to make... It's a big purple one. I think it needs to be purple. Do I want that color? No, I don't. I I'm like so wishing I would have had more colors to play with you. I'm mixing as much as I possibly can. There we go. I like that. All right. I like that one better. That's got a magenta and purple going on. That's what I'm talking about. That is pretty. Sweet. Let that one dry for a bit. And I'm really not feeling this one. This one's quite ugly. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I think that one's going to have to be blue. I'm really not liking it. I'm painting over it. I think I kind of wrecked it. See, this one's really nice and bright. And this one I'm not feeling. Hmm. I'll let it dry a bit more. I can probably hit it, but I'll do some other stuff for a bit first. All right, mint green, where were we? Oh, 
All right, let that dry. Everyone is so quiet tonight. Quiet on a Friday night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, too much. I've still got to like get in there with watercolor. Make that a little lighter pink I'm feeling. Oops, not quite what I was feeling, but it's happening now. Hmm. Thank you. I love the purples and mint greens and blues together. And then I think in the outside around here will be all mint green and purple as well. We'll do some, uh, we'll have some fun. I, I like to do all around the edges is going to be like a universe nebula kind of feel to it. All right. I got to fix this. This is driving me. I think this just looks wrong. One thing good about it, it can be touched up. All right, feeling in the blue a little bit. Totally mucking this one up. Let's see if I can save it. I have to come back to that one. My stars, I have to go over my stars. happening oh you're like what am I doing I just do it's just so if you saw what I saw behind the ca camera here the camera makes it look sweet but it did not look very good all right I'm gonna let that dry I'm feeling that a little better now poor little guy gonna have to add some blues here now Okay, let's head back to this one here now. We'll add a little bit more of that magenta strawberry in the stem. Because I want it being a little bit too violet. Now I gotta figure out what to make this guy here too. And then I, I gotta suck it up and get into the crystals after that. Oh, I'm not looking forward to the crystals cause I don't know what to do yet.
Weird the camera doesn't pick up the mint greens. I find that when I do photocopying too, it doesn't, it, it color copies out to like a baby blue. So weird. Maybe with technology one day we'll be able to pick up the mint greens. Okay, I think I'm feeling this guy's going to be mint green. How does that look? Yeah. I said we needed some pop. Oh, this guy's not dry yet. Creating enables your soul to dance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. Heck yeah, I'll quote you on that one. Definitely feels good. I create something every day, either if I'm just uh, writing or drawing, crafting. I'm usually filming for the channel. I love it. Feels so good. I love being an art witch. I love all the different terms they have nowadays for witches. <laughs> it's crazy. So I identify as an art witch. Also a messy witch, dyslexic witch, green witch, cottage witch, forest witch. Oh, so many. I'm an eclectic witch. That's what I am. That's what I've decided. I, I am a sandwich. That's what I am. I'm a sandwich. That's what I am identifying as. I have so much witchery in me. Jules, you really inspire me. Thank you so much. I've, I've been in a funk and your shorts and videos are awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I hope they have a... I like to do crafting mainly with nature, so part of that is getting out and about. Getting outside and seeing what we can have fun with and what we can create with. Jules, I'm so happy for you. That's so good. All righty. Let's get some lighter colors. Let's see here. Trying to keep up with these stars because I covered in my other mushroom. Disappointed. What are you laughing about there? What is tickling your fancy?
Oh, sandwich. <laughs> I don't know what else to identify as. Oh man, I'm just messing this this poor little guy up. But my star is there again. Oh. Hmm. Huh. You guys are seeing me really, really mess up this mushroom. Let's see if I can pull some paint off. Getting epic. Alrighty, let's see here. I need some new paint brushes coming in here. I lo I've lost paint brushes already. Aha! It's on the floor. Oh, God, we're getting near my, oh, I'm going to have to do the crystal soon. All right, see what else we got. We're going to finish up this guy here now with some mint green. I need some mixing in some white. Ooh, that turned out faster and better. All right. Let's see if I can do that again on this one. I'm going to try one more attempt because I don't, I'm stubborn. And then I got to move on. <laughs> okay, we're working here. We got it working on. Okay, I'm feeling better about this mushroom now. I just hit something. Yay! All right, come back and line that. That's fantastic. Feeling it. Okay, I feel like I saved that mushroom a little bit better. Now my other cat wants to go outside. Hang on, Samuel. Okay. I don't know if you can hear my cat. Now he wants to go outside. He's going to start throwing tantrums. Sorry, little buddy. You're going to have to wait. It's cold outside. Actually, it's not bad. It's only minus, minus 5 degrees Celsius. It's actually been quite nice here, which has been a pleasure because it got we had a cold snap during uh, the Christian Christmas. Holy snap, Ola. We had minus 35, minus 40 degrees Celsius here in Edmonton. Oh, my cat's throwing a fit, trying to ready to go outside. 
All right, intermission. Sorry, guys. Two seconds. He's going to start scratching my couch. So he'll start knocking stuff down. He's a bit of an a hole when it comes to what getting what he wants. You want to go outside, buddy? Jerk. Oh, I totally forgot about my tea. Man, we have this wicked green tea. Alrighty, let's see what we have going on here. Alrighty. Hmm. I got look at all the paint I have. All I'm trying not to get paint on my canvas, but I got it all over my hands. All right. I got to figure this one out here. Let's see here. I need what's a paintbrush I was working with. That one's good. That one's good. Put some greens in here. I am mucking it up again. Okay, somebody stop me. I really need to be stopped. Okay, I'm feeling that one. All right, I've got two more here to go, and I have no idea what to do yet, so I have to suck it up, and I have to go into the crystals. Oh, my God, I have to go into the crystals. What are we doing? I better just go watercolor with crystals. Oh, I'm scared. Let's see here. Oh, I'm scared. All right, we're laying in the crystals. We're doing it. Should I do all amethyst crystals, maybe? We'll do some burgundy or something in them. Some highlights. Ooh. Yeah, my dog. My goodness. That's a little too much water. Hmm. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Kind of like, and I was just left in like that. Oh. Oh, hello, Adriana. Thank you. Thank you. Amethyst. Yeah. I think the amethyst would look cool amongst the, the other mushrooms because I got blue mushrooms and stuff. That's why I didn't do the mush. That's why I didn't do the um, uh, crystals yet, because I I don't know what I didn't know what. To, uh, well, I can bring some over here. I can do these ones. Then I can always put some highlights of some other colors on them.
I love how we're all hanging out with witches here. So I don't, I don't just have to say purple. I can say amethyst. <laughs> Tamara's going for amethyst. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah, I think this is jumping out here. I'm liking it. Boop. Okay, this is going faster. Feeling it. Yay. I'm not as scared now. But I will have to come in with some different purples. I don't want just the one color purple here. Ooh, that looks really nice on the yellows right there. Happy. I would live in one if I could. I would live in a mushroom if I could. That'd be so cool. I love BC for, for mushrooms. You got bigger mushrooms in British Columbia, Canada. Got some really cool ones there. When I used to work in Whistler in the summer, I used to go mushroom hunting. Hee 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 hee. For and uh, then in the fall, look for the pines. Is it pines or chanterelles in the fall? Please ask me questions as you work away. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm liking the amethyst. Yay. I have to figure out, which I am in the process of, so I want to do more live crafting. I want to figure out where you can have the camera on me so you can see me when I'm talking, and then you can see the camera on the picture as well. But I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I have a tarot channel and I've been trying to figure that out for a while because I would love to have my camera on my hat. I got the hiccups, sorry, on my hands while I'm working with the cards and then have one on my face as I'm talking. But what I do is my face and then I hold up the cards, which would be kind of cool to see the spread of cards on the table, though, I think. Ooh, loving, loving, loving those crystals. Yeah. Finally in the crystal zone. <laughs> I know, but I got scared and I left it for a while. Okay, I'm going back. I think I would have rather done the crystals first and then kind of worked it around it, but I didn't know what color they were going to be. And that happens sometimes. Sometimes I have to do an entire painting of everything around it. I haven't done much tarot on my channel in a few months now. Oy. I still read privately for people, though. So I have my Etsy store. Where I have my absolute tarot uh, readings there. Do definitely, but definitely don't do as many. I used to do quite a few readings in a month. Now it's just down to like maybe 10 a month or so. I, I can bring in some tarot onto the pagan crafting channel too. Cause I have some 
some daily, I like doing daily spread pulls too. So I can maybe do that for under a divination. I still haven't finished my divination series. I'm doing I did with all the divination. You keep checking the tarot channel. I know. I've been so busy with the pagan crafting channel. I've been going nuts with this channel day and night. I should put out a, a tarot for the new year, a, read, a reading for a pick a card for the new year. I usually hit those for each season. I feel this mushroom is saved a little bit more now. Oh. See, one thing about watercolor, you can build up the layers, and that's what's sweet about it. Let those ones dry and bring out some more. Woohoo! Yeah! Amethyst! Adriana, I can't remember. Whereabouts are you from? I remember you telling me. I'm trying to recall right now. Oh, yay! Thank you, Thomas. T. Thomas, Tamara. Uh, T. 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 Uh, I hope it's going to take off. I'm so excited for it, too. There's, uh, there isn't another uh, crafting channel like mine. There is Magical Crafting, who is absolutely freaking amazing. But her style of crafting is a little bit different than mine. I'm more of a crafting with nature as much as I possibly can craft with stuff from outside. And uh, she has, a, I love her candle making, her spells. She has got beautiful things with hers as well. But there isn't a lot of crafting channels. I love watching magical crafting. Oh my gosh. I just discovered her at the beginning of this year. Maybe about the middle or last year. Sorry. Oh, cool. Where you share your background, uh, where you were born, ancestors, anything fun and interesting about your family, education? How did you get into the arts? When did you become interested in magic? Oh, I'll go backwards and I'll, I think it'll be easier for you to go the other way. Interested in magic, I was 16, 15, 16, and I found this book. And everything I read about it just made sense. It didn't, I, I, it was so cool. It just, everything just resonated with me. I'm like, oh, I'm like that. Oh, I already do that. Or, oh, so it just, it just made sense to me. For magic, uh, I never really started into candle magic or casting till I was a lot older. Mine was more energy work when I was younger. Um, a bit of candle magic when I was younger, but I was didn't really have the money to buy the candles. <laughs> 
So I just went with a, with what I could, and I discovered it, nature's was my best way because I was always out and about and collecting rocks and crystals and trees and branches and making stuff out of them. For artistically inclined, I have always, 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 always been an artist ever since I was as little as I can remember. And to combine pagan crafting with the arts has been so much fun. Sometimes it's been a challenge because I had a, not every season or Sabbath has a craft. Like I, I, I really do a lot of research for my channel as well. Uh, I go through my books and things that I have, but um, you live in New York City, and I will continue on. That's awesome. Yeah, it's right, New York. Whoop! I got family in New, in New York State. Got all excited there. I'm crashing things down here. Ooh, give me a sec there. <laughs> I'm just banging things around here. Oh my God. I'm back. Elbowing things, banging things, knocking my light over. I had to use my, um, I would rather use my, actually my, my phone camera for this cast, but it only allowed me to film it one direction and I needed Going ways here. Anyways, sorry, back to what I was saying here. Um, yeah, the arts, just been around the arts forever. Everything is self-taught. I never went to school for the arts. Uh, I'm an airbrush artist, graffiti artist, uh, fine art artist. I like acrylic and watercolor. I am too impatient for oils. I got into sculpting with my daughter this year, which has been a lot of fun. So I hope to bring some of that. I will be bringing some of that to the channel too. Definitely eclectic witch. There's so many different things I like. For, for traveling, I, I was born in Canada. For my background, born in Canada, born in Edmonton, Alberta. Then I moved to the northern region to what is called Northwest Territories. Lived there for about five, seven years. Then I moved to Australia for a year, then back to Canada, um, back to Alberta, BC, Yukon, and I lived in Ontario. I joined the military, lived in Ontario, and then it brought me back and then brought me to BC, got out of the military. Oops. I think I see another line I missed there. And there we go. Lost my train of thought. Military got me to BC, brought me to the West Coast, and then moved up to Northern Alberta, then back down to Southern Alberta, back down to Edmonton, and I've been in Edmonton for a while now. I've traveled um, all over North America. I've traveled about 50% of the United States. I've been to Mexico a few times. Um, I've been to some places in the Caribbean on a cruise. I would like to travel to, I'm um, studying shamanic studies, uh, Viking shamanic. I've studied Celtic studies, uh, shamanic studies, as well as Egyptian, Peruvian. And my studies right now is with the Viking. And I would love to go to Norway or Sweden and learn and study more. All right. I traveled a lot more when I was younger. Now I'm a road tripper. So now I really enjoy where I live. And the province right next to me is called British Columbia. And I travel there a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Because it has the most gorgeous mountains. Oh, 
Okay, I gotta figure out how to turn this around. I gotta do the crystals upside down for a little while. So I could reach them all, big and small. Hmm. I still got to finish these two mushrooms yet. I don't know what I, how I'm going to paint them yet. That's right, Adriana. You live in New York City. You were mentioning about uh, Central Park. That's right. Can you pick nuts or anything or branches or leaves at Central Park? Are you allowed to pick anything or is there just too many people? Might be too many people. Have you done a family tree? Anyone interesting? My long way from Central Park, are you? Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, my, my mom and I and my cousin are the only ones that have done our family tree on my mom's side. My grandmother's side, my dad's side, it's only been myself and my grandmother. Not my grandmother's passed away, so it's just me. But I nobody interesting but we go back we i have my, my um my mother's side is irish and ukrainian uh pure ukrainian goes all the way back to the old world and the irish is actually all through the states where colligan and ash and we're mainly irish or you uh, American Irish, and we're mm, that was we're descended from Berlin. Is it not Berlin, not Berlin, 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 Belgium. No, 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 no. I'm trying to remember some of the Germans we have in us too. Oh, it's been a while. But we all. Uh, my dad's side is his. His dad is Welsh and English. And then his mother's side is straight Irish all the way back. She's she was pure Irish. There was no, there was a one Canadian remnants in her. The rest was all Irish. She was feisty too. Who doggies was she ever feisty? But she is Irish, so that's all good. Yes, my daughter and I practice together. She's getting older now. She's 16. So she has her own altar, her own setup. She likes to work with deities. I usually don't. Uh, so she has a little bit of different studies. I, I teach her what I know. As she asks questions, she goes on. But when she was a little younger, she wasn't quite ready. And I didn't want her to feel forced into the practice. But she is very much, she's neo-pagan and she follows more of the Greek deities. And yeah, we've been to the hot springs. We have lots of hot springs around. Um, we have hot springs about four to five hours away from here. Five hours maybe. But for a while there with COVID, no one was going to them. No one wanted to share in the cesspool. 
So you have to, there's lots of, there's tons and tons and tons of natural hot springs all over British Columbia. It's so cool. I think BC's got most of the hot springs out of anywhere in the world next to Greenland or something like that. Okay, I'm having problems painting that way. I got to paint back upside down. Got to do it. Make it a little faster. Oh, I'm loving the amethyst. I was actually planning to do the crystals all different colors, to be honest. But too many colors, I think, would not have looked as good next to all the colorful mushrooms. Yeah, it's too bad. I was trying to I try to get my daughter involved in some of the videos that I do, but she doesn't want to be on camera because she's underage, so which is good. But sometimes I can get her like I got her in the um, the winter solstice uh, special. She was hanging up some of the pine cones that we made outside in the forest and then I used her as my b-roll for um putting peanut butter on the pine cones and mixing them all up with the seeds apparently we found out that not all peanut butter is good for birds so we had to go take them all down <laughs> Oh, I find a mix of magic in me. That is so cool. We have a lot of Cree where we are. I'm in Alberta, Canada, and uh, a lot of Cree nation here. Oh, wow. Lots of powerful women in that lineage and heritage. Definitely. Wowzers. Black Latina. Woo. There's some powerful roots right there. Getting close to finishing these crystals and then we're going to go back in and do some darker layers we're just letting everything dry out Almost done. Nice. I got to figure out my universe background too. I got to hit that. Oh, I love honoring the moon as well. I've been teaching my daughter the phases and the meanings of the moon. So I have, um, all the, the meanings of the moons with the moon calendar up on our fridge. So then, cause she collects moon water every day. So she wants to learn what she's drinking to every day. I love that. Okay. Let's go in a little bit more here. All 
All right, look at this popping out now. I'm happy. I will have to look up the Orisha goddess as a moon goddess, as well as the goddess of the ocean and tides. I want to look her up. Maybe she's something I can incorporate into this January's because I have this whole month is based on uh, the moon manifesting in dreams. So I should look up that goddess. We have a very special year. What kind of things, what kind of events? We have some lunar and solar eclipses happening. I know lunar for sure. We have six people in the house watching because everyone, everyone throw me down a little like up. I'd appreciate your support. It helps support my channel. Just lets the algorithms know to help suggest me. Let's see here. We should do some dark. Some darkness there. Darken those tones up. Darken the overlaps up. Oh, I'm loving this. Hmm. Okay, so I've lost this one a little bit in here. So this one needs to punch out a bit more. So what are we going to do here? I'm going to let the crystals dry for a bit. And then I'll see. I think I need to bring in. <laughs> see what tones I need. I really like how you added the moon mushrooms to the moon itself, just as the spirit is of the tree. Our moon has such an endless amount of interactive energy. What a great interpretation. Thank you so very much, my love. Oh, wow. That was so kind. Oh, oh we got to color these guys in too. They're going purple. Forgot about these guys. Been working on the other ones for so long. I got the some of the burgundies in there. I got the gold highlights on them, but and then I'll add a touch of green or something here. And very, very, very last, I'll do the, the background. I have an idea what I'd like for colors. Not sure how it's going to turn out yet, though. I was born in Germany, and my great-grandmother was a Roman gypsy. My mother told about the time she gave my mother a wart to the moon. Mother's wart to the moon. Wow. We have a full moon. August, yeah, we have two full moons, a blue moon and a super moon. Wow, I didn't know it was a super moon as well. Yeah, because the blue moons usually happen in October, the last moon of the month. Oh, that was a bit much water. The last moon of the month, usually it's, the blue moon falls on my dad's birthday, actually, at the end of October, Scorpio. But yeah, I didn't know it was a super moon, but I, that, I knew about the blue moon in August. That is so cool. Two moons in there. It's going to be a magical year for sure. I'm excited about 2023. I have actually no worries about 2023. It's going to be an amazing year, especially for my channel. I have so much planned and I already have amazing supporters. 
You guys have been all so, so kind. And I really, really, really enjoy your comments. I wake up each morning and I like to start my day by going through them. And as I'm online, I catch them throughout the day. You probably notice I commented within a few minutes too. <laughs> There we go. Got kind of our little mush and barnacle dudes. This one's going to go a little pinkish red. That's OT. That's AOT. Hmm. I think all the colors I'm using here, except the yellow, are probably all my favorite colors. I love the mint greens. I love purple so much. My favorite all time color is red. A fire engine red, very specific red for sure. But I love, 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 love earth tone colors, but I definitely love using the purples. There we go. Look at that popping out. Oh, I love purples with the mint greens. I have, um, I have a boogie van. A 1988 boogie van. It's all this color, aquamarine with burgundy. It's insane. It is so beautiful, those colors. Well, these are popping out a little bit more. It'll look better once I scan it in. I'll scan this picture in and then I'll have the moon calendar up from my Etsy store. All right, so I think what I need to do is for these ones is I'm going to have to put in some yellow because they're not popping out the way I need them to. So I'm going to slam in a little bit of yellow. Yeah, that's going to give me what I need. Concentrating, quiet, quietly. Oh, I don't know if I like that one. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's getting out of hand. I am totally a soul practitioner. I actually was thinking this year for the very first time in my life, I would actually like to be a part of a coven. Um... I just have some friends that all have some stuff going on with their kids. And I think if I can get a bunch of 
which is together to help out our kids and maybe we can put some of our energies towards that to help out with some mental health that'd be cool um but no i've been a soul just a soul practitioner my whole life i've never even met a coven in my life i've talked to covens online i've talked to people online that are part of but i've actually never met a coven or been a part or seen i've been a part of witches retreats where i've had giant bonfires with over 50 witches before that was pretty 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 cool um yeah that bonfire and setting some spells and casting was was pretty amazing so that ever since i was a couple of years ago i experienced that i think ever since then i was kind of like huh maybe covens do have a little bit something to them But yeah, I kind of wonder sometimes, I wonder what it would be like to be a part of a coven, but I've never, I do have some witch friends. I'm just, they're all, I have some friends that are just getting into witchcraft. So there's a possibility of a coven to come. We're slowly getting together each, uh, each Yule. I, oh, not each one. I've only done it a couple years in a row now, but um, I do a, a Yule Pagan crafting event at my house in December. And this time, instead of doing craft, well, we did some crafts, yeah, but I, we did a lot of spells this time. And we had an absolute blast. So I'm hoping to get the ladies together again. And see what other kind of goodies we can come up with. Hmm. I would love to do some collaborations with other creators. That is on my vision board for this year. I think that would be amazing. I'd like to do some with my friends where I have all the... I'm going to give four ingredients and everybody must make up a spell or something like that. Everybody will do a different spell or kitchen witchery or something or a craft with those four ingredients and see what everybody comes up with. I would love to do that on pagan crafting as well, maybe with some other creators. Okay, this mushroom's coming back. Yes. All right. We need a finer brush, though. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Okay, I think I'm I think I'm saving this mushroom. It's coming back. Oh, yes, indeed. I have lots of interest in the Native uh, American peoples here. I'm actually uh, um, being on, when I was on Vancouver Island, I, I got to enjoy a lot of sweats, crafts, sun dances. It was uh, a very beautiful, amazing place to live for sure. I'm doing a crescent moon, blood red moon dream catcher that is already filmed and edited and loaded up. It's, it's going to be airing at the end of the month on a Sunday. And that one I'm, I'm doing, a, I'm going to be talking about some of the, the, the history and the, and the meanings behind the actual dream catcher. Uh, I had a subscriber request they emailed me and asked if I can do some braid magic. So I've contacted a friend of mine and she's looking into some more of the meaning and history of braids, Native American braids. And uh, we, we call it First Nations and the, with all the meanings and behind that as well. 
So I'm doing a whole video. I thought I'd rock it in with not magic at the same time. Do not magic and braiding. Okay, now I got cats at the door again. Look at that, Masha. I'm so happy. Oh, they truly honor the women the, as wise ones. Very spectacular. Well, the women are the leaders. Ha <laughs> I Yes, indeed. The women are the leaders and the older ones are the, the far better leaders. Come on, Samuel. It was funny, a few years back I was in car sales and I used to laugh at the young male white car salesman as all the indigenous family would come in looking for a vehicle and the one older, oldest woman was at the back and they ignored her, not knowing she was the one making all the decisions. And as of course they would talk to the men first, not the women, and realize who, and if they weren't acknowledged then they wouldn't buy I love watching. It was so entertaining for me. And now I got another cat at the door. For the love of God, I'll be right back. I only have two cats. They're all coming back at different intervals. Come on, little buddy. I've been calling you. Come on. Yeah. Where were you? Okay, saving the mushroom. Let's get back to saving the mushroom. You belong to the Eternal Mountain Tribe. Ooh. Turtles are amazing, wise creatures. I think some of the most amazing experiences I had on Vancouver Island was a sweat. I did, I've done three sweats in my life, two on the island in and one wasn't traditional, it was three hours. And one that was uh, non-traditional, full traditional, was five hours. It was crazy. What are we out here into two hours here? I still got to paint my background. I still got to paint that mushroom too. Let's see what's happening. Got to darken up this one a little bit. Yeah, let me know if I pull down the picture too far. Sorry about that. The creation story is so beautiful. I have a book on creation stories from all around the world. It's actually a kid's book I got from my daughter when she was a little girl. And some of the creation stories are absolutely breathtaking. I think I love the one of the, the Mayan one. One of the one was one of my favorites. The Mayan creation story, how everybody came to be. Oh, yikes. Yes, this brush is not my favorite when i dip it in water it holds the water like a droplet and then is dropping down on the paper have a magical night as well jewels howl at the moon no that's right baby 
I'll have an edited version. I'll, I'll have the live version up and then I'm going to do an edited version too. We'll speed up the painting a little bit as well. All right, we are getting there. Still got to add some more layers to the crystals, I think. Ooh. I'll paint here for a while, see how it goes. I'm going to go into some more royal purple. Have an absolutely amazing night, Jules. If you won the lottery millions, where would you go? What would you do? Oh, my God. Oh, I'd probably stay put. I'd travel a little bit more. Um, I'd, To be honest, I'd buy all the art supplies I possibly could. I'd buy a house. I'd pay off my mother's house. And realistically, I'd probably still live pretty much the same way I live now. I, I really like my life. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy my friends, my location, where I am. I would probably be, tra if I had millions, I would probably be traveling a little bit more for sure. Have that freedom. I would definitely be traveling more, but I'm a, I get a lot of traveling in through my road tripping as well. Yay. All right, we'll finish off this one. And looks like I need to let it dry a little bit more. Shoot. But I'm going to keep going till I muck it up for sure. <laughs> yeah, I actually never thought about if I won millions. I'd probably pretty much do a lot of the same. I'd travel a little bit more. Probably go on a few cruises that I want to do and go to Europe. I definitely would travel uh, United Kingdom and Europe, South America. Oh, my God. I definitely would be hitting South America. Costa Rica, Brazil. Oh, my God. Colombia. All right. I got to move this. I'm getting, uh, getting wet everywhere. Time for a new paper towel. Well, I think that one's going to be a little bit of yellow. I have like plates like all spread out here. Uh, where are we going to go here?
Ooh, feeling it. Oops, that's a little bit too much. Oh, my stars are getting up here. Um, books, I everything. Oh my goodness, I have so many books, and I'm not reading any of them right now. But I, all the books that I go into, I don't. I am more of a researcher, so I don't read any story books as much as I used to anymore. So if I'm everything I'm right now is all all on, all I'm doing is into is whatever I'm into right now. I'm researching. Movies, I love comedy, definitely love horror movies. I do not like chick flicks, but I'm highly addicted to Outlander. Oh, my God. Kills me, that show. Kills me. Such a good show. But, yeah, I like, I like my horror movies. But I haven't watched a lot of them since I've gone through The Awakening because it lowers my vibration. It hurts. So I haven't been able to enjoy some horror movies like I used to. So I watch more suspenseful ones to scare the shit out of me now. <laughs> but I, def I do a lot of tarot. So I have a lot of uh, books and crystals and tarot books. And I have a lot of witchcraft books. But it's funny, like, not... A book on spells so I create all my own spells all depends on what I'm needing at that time and I want to be able to get that color how the heck did I figure that out I do not know I'll mix these two colors together see what happens colors I'd like now. Unicorns and Crafting Rainbow Addiction. Now oh, that is an absolutely fantastic name. Oh my god. Oh my God, that's an awesome name. Any advice for someone just starting with tarot cards? Oh, yes, my love. What would you like to know? I have on, if you look up on YouTube, Absolute Tarot by Kerosene or Kara. And you, my friend, will find everything you need to know about starting up with tarot as well as starting your own tarot business online. But the first, depending on how early you have your cards is, depending on the answer to that question too, but it'll have, um, there'll be lots of videos on there and they're short, short videos. So you can learn a lot if you'd like. Anything and everything. Oh, how far along are you in your journey? Tarot cards, I find um are very very intuitive i found it not very fun to have to remember over what is there 78 cards that's not a good time to me so to memorize 78 cards is hard so i'm also dyslexic so sit there and just reading is not also a good time for me sometimes when i'm tired so I found looking up, if you want to look up the symbols, the 
the meanings of the symbolism of the cards and you will learn by intuition then. And when you learn by more intuition, it's like reading the Oracle cards. I just bought a deck at five and below. I didn't come with a book. Oh no. If you'd like, I can send you, um, you have to, if you, if you want to look on my community page on my channel here, there'll be my email. I can't type right now. Sorry. Um, email me and what I'll do, I will send you a cheat sheet. A cheat sheet is so you can learn all your meanings to the cards. It won't cost you anything. I found it for free from um, Emerald Divin, Divin Lotus, something like that. Divin Lotus Divination. Divination. Emerald Emerald Lotus Divination. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give me a sec. Maybe I can reach my computer. Give me a sec here if I can do this up here. Let's see if I can write it out. One second here. Did I spell it right? There we go. Yeah, drop me an email and I'll send you a cheat sheet. Um, other than that, inside... The cards, the colors, everything has a meaning when it comes to a tarot deck. So depending on which deck that you started off with, the Rider Wake deck is a wonderful, 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 wonderful deck to start off with. And I find that one was an easy one for me to learn. And it was really good with learning um, even the birds, the animals, the moons, the stars, every, that's why I love the uh, tarot cards. There's so many meanings. Yeah, I'm feeling those a little bit better. I don't know if you can see those. I didn't. They're coming out. Whoops. Oh, I just dunked it in the paint. Let's try this again. I'm so happy I saved that mushroom because I don't have the Photoshop capabilities to fix it. I'm not very savvy when it comes to some Photoshop. Oh, I mocked that up. Oh, my goodness. The Celestial and Lunar Oracle cards. So I've heard of those ones. I haven't seen the deck yet, though. How are you liking the Oracle cards so far? Oh, fuck. I'm just making a mess out of this one.
Eek, I'm making a mess out of this one now. You guys can see the mistakes of an artist and what kind of things that how we fix it up. <laughs> that's okay. That's a okay. Now I'm scared. I might throw, I don't know if I should put in. Hmm. I don't know what to do here with the moons here yet. I'll just leave them for now. I might be painting them white, so we'll shall see. All right, let's go back to the purple a little for a little bit. I like the oracle cards. It came with the book and all about moon rad magic. The goddess, I am obsessed with anything in the moon. Oh, so am I. I love everything and anything with the moon. Unicorns and rainbows, you will enjoy this month of magical crafting. It's all about the moon manifestations and and dreaming all right we're gonna make a mess here now we're gonna work on the outside i still gotta do some shadowing oh shit i gotta do shadowing i just gotta suck it up and do it all right we're coming in Give my dog a little bit All right, I think I'm going to need some black for this one. Where's my black paint? All right, just one moment. Sharing up here. Okay, so we are going to lay down a little bit of shadowing. Oh, that is cool. That could be, yeah. How does that look? There, that pops out some of it. Now we won't lose some of those crystals. Let's see here if we can pop out some more crystals here. It won't be that dark. Let's see here. Mush it in. Yay! I can see the crystals a little bit more. I'm so addicted to moon cycles. Everything is my daughter. I'm teaching her the moon cycles. I think it's very important. I'm going to be this year. I'm going to be doing something I haven't had a chance to since I lived on Vancouver Island is that I'm going to be planting by the moon cycles. I just haven't had the, the space or area to do it since I've lived in this city. Hmm. 
I've actually made my own moon oracle cards. I did that a couple years ago and they sent me a wrong, they reprint, they printed some of it wrong and they sent me a bunch of print cards with just the moons on and no lettering. And it took me months of arguing with this company to get him to send me it again because it was their mistake. They made a really big mistake. And uh, I kind of need cards with wording on them. It's what I paid for. So I want them negotiating. They, they could at least cover, pay for half and reprint them. So now I have all these cards with moons on them with no wording or anything. And I need to come up with some sort of craft project to use these cards with. I wonder if you guys would have some ideas for me. I'm going to use some postcards or something. I was thinking postcards. But why would I do that? I should grab the cards. Let's see if I have the cards somewhere close here. I see them. Show you what they look like. Unicorns and rainbows. Heck yeah. Unicorns and rainbows. Woo. Love it. Blessings to you as well, my friend. Unicorns and rainbows and sparkles make the world go round. If I didn't think it would scan in, I would create some uh, sparkles too on this. I would totally love to paint this with some sparkles now that I think about it. <laughs> I think I'll re-outline those at another date and we'll bring those out. We'll bring out the There we go. It comes with all my favorite saying, not everything can be rainbows and unicorn farts. Heck yeah. That's right. Unicorn farts are full of sparkles. So that way also makes the world go round. I love it. Unicorn farts. Farts are funny. They really are. I'm a, a definitely immature when it comes to farts, but that's okay. Oops. I kind of mucked that up. I 
probably should shadow out the mushrooms as well. Gotta make sure I keep it on the under the camera so you could see. Thank you very much. This has been a fun process. I thought, oh, wait till we get to scan it in and then I'll be able to put it on my, my moon page. I'm excited. My moon uh, calendar is what I'm making here. I'll be able to scan that in onto my laptop and then I'll have that up on my Etsy shop. Mm, kind of like a little black on there. Kind of like that. All right, bringing it in. Oh, what was that? for some shadowing and then we're going to get in the background and I got to paint though I got to paint all the little stars and stuff on the mushroom tube I'm going to do those ones last because I need that to be really 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 dry let's see if we can just add a slight shadow All right. And I just run a quick line, a shadow around everybody. There we go, that pops them out.
turn it on. Okay. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-outline this as well. So it's going to pop everything out too. All right. I got to like suck it up and do the background now. Eek. That's, I don't quite know what I'm going to be. I should probably mix my colors here first. I should probably get my colors set. I need a bigger brush. So I'm using acrylic, so sometimes it can be a little bit chunky when it's older. So get my colors ready and set. Get some baby blues. I'm just mixing up some colors here. Show you what I'm doing. Okay. Get this one ready too. I have to gotta to thin that out. And this is gonna be our background colors. But I need them to be a lot thinner. So I'm going to need, look at that, so beautiful. There we go. So those are going to be our colors that I'm going to be using, except I'm not going to go with this one. Just the aquas, blues, and purples. Okay, I'm going to get some fresh water, which I have ready. Let's see, I'll just need a moment. I right, rinse my paint brushes, get them ready. Still here, just grabbing some plates to mix some fresh paint on because I really got to thin that out and I got to grab some other paint brushes. Oh, if I can reach them. All right, I've got a bunch of paint brushes here I got to go through. I'm a little worried because I'd rather, really, really, really rather watercolor. Let's mix up some paints. Oh. All right. Let's see here. 
Well, we got to grab our fresh water. Okay. To be honest, I don't quite know how this is going to go. I haven't done a, I've actually never painted a universe background with watercolor before. I've only used acrylic, so I'm, screw it, I'm going to mix acrylic and water it down because I cannot find the right colors I need. So we'll drop those colors in. This is weird watering it all down. <laughs> That's going to be fun. I'm going to make a wild mess. It's, hopefully I don't screw up my painting. Eek. We shall find out. What else? I need blue. How do I practice self-care? Um... I do a lot of morning. I have um, my morning mantras, I guess you would say. And I use with my glamour magic anytime I'm brushing hair, washing face. I charge it up. I use the moon. Most of my self-care is mental health. So I like to make sure I'm working towards that. So crafting and painting is my main self-care. That definitely keeps my mental health and my brain on track. Alrighty, so. Okay, I'm gonna make a mess here first. I don't know how, see how this, this is an oil canvas, oil and acrylic canvas. So we'll see how this watercolor takes. Well, it seems to be saturating it. So that's good. I'm going to move fast for this part. This part I usually would like to have it taped down, but I'm painting right, I have to paint right to the edges because my scanner will not pick up something larger. Shit, is it ever curling this paper? Try to work as fast as I can so I can color the put the put the pen down. Oh, this does not want to take as fast as I thought it would. We'll work with it. We'll work with it. I don't know if you can see on here, but I'm saturating the just with the water first. Yikes. I 
All right, see if I can do this. some white around it first. I'm just going to lay it down and let the colors play into each other. So far, I'm not, not worried. It's all showing blue, but this is actually a blues and shades of aquas. Slowly taken form, a little bit too square there. We need some purples in here, my friends. Some rich purples, I'm feeling.
Okay, we let that dry a little bit and we will come back to it. It's kind of there, we can see the layers that way. A lot of little layers, lots of layers. Let this dry just for a couple minutes here, see what else I can play around with while that's dry, and then we'll come back to it. I see a couple little I can touch up here where I got some glue on it. Okay, soon, 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 almost done. I just got to do one another two one or two more layers up here bring in some some color around here and uh i kind of like it the way it is there we there we can see the colors a little bit better without the glare on there so much thank you tamara and then i'm going to add some stars so i still oh yeah i can probably paint these stars while i'm waiting that is what I will do. I will paint all the moons and the stars on that while I'm waiting for the background. That'll be awesome. Because I gotta use a thick, thick, thick paint for that one. You know what? I think I might just keep these little guys white. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can hear my dog. Oh, it's a hard life. Sorry, bumping the camera. I might also bring the paint closer. I think I need a finer paintbrush. Gotta hold my breath a little bit with this paintbrush. Got some little star sprinkles. Yeah. Oh, I'm having so much fun with this one. Punch out these stars. I got stars all over the moons. You probably can't see. Or over the moons. I mean, all over the mushrooms. I got little spots, little dots, mushrooms need some spots. Yay! Let's see if I can show you. 
Now it's starting to take shape with the stars on them. I love when you guys are hanging out with me today. I had to paint this anyway. Might as well go live and have some fun with it. The outer edge is almost dry already. Magic of watercolor, which is nice. And watered down acrylic. Oh yeah, I forgot too, all the little, all my crystals have, I put stars on them too. Hmm. All right, what's next? I think I got stars up on up on this one too, but I've painted over it so many times it's hard to tell. But we'll make it work. The background is still a little bit damp. Still can't quite go there yet. Hmm. I don't know if I painted these stars. Let's paint them again anyway. I don't think I painted them. Paint the little moons going white. I'll reline those. That'll pop those out. Oh, stars, or oh, sparkles. Oh, the mushrooms are so cute. They're really taking shape. Let's see, I just got to fix my paper towel situation here.
Mm, almost done the mushrooms. I'm going to make those a little bit darker. I got quiet for a long time too to realize. Just sitting there painting away. There goes one of my paints. Now I don't know if I painted that moon. Pop that out a little bit more. Same thing with this one. Forgot stars. Oh no, there was a star right here. Put a star right in the center of that moon. I think that looked cool. Oh, gotta remember these stars, dupe. Oh, loving it. Oh, thank you, Tamara. I love it. I love all the little stars on the mushrooms. It's coming together. We'll see how the background goes. Coming together. Getting there, getting there. Just about done the mushrooms, stoked. This painting's almost done. How long, what are we at now? It's over three hours. Let's see here. 
I'll quickly shine up some stuff. Doop -a -doo. And then once I do all the outlining, it's going to slam out. I might do a little outlining on this. We'll see how she goes. Oh, stretching. All right, getting there, getting there. We'll see. It, it'll take me about nine minutes to outline it. I could outline it later, see if it's all dried out. All right, I got to come back to the outside here. Oh yeah, I gotta put the stars in too. I can't forget the stars. See if I can pull some paint up here. Well, I got to go get some other paper to put down. Let's see here. Oh, it sucks. Let's see here. Well, I'm about ready to put in the stars, but I'm going to have to wait till it dries again.
Hmm. Put some purple on the edges. Just about done. Then I got the stars are left. I'm putting stars for the universe in here. All right, happier with that. This is. I keep, oh, that's what's dropping. My paintbrush is all peeling. I keep figuring out what is dropping into my canvas. There's another little piece right here. Eek. Did I get it? Hmm. I'll have to lacquer this brush. I really like this brush. I'll seal it, then I could still use it. All right, what I'm going to do now, I need to cut. I saved this because this is a scan of my picture that I drew. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out, lay it over top of it, and then sprinkle in my stars. So while that is drying, I will get some scissors. Excuse me, I will be back in just a moment. I'll be back, right back. This dreading, you can hear to my dog to keep you company. And now I can't find any scissors around. That's good. Found some scissors. All right, I'm back. I wish you guys could see me. I need to set up two cameras. I'm so used to being uh, interacting in a different way than just like, I can't just do the hands when I talk. How you doing there? I don't know. We can't figure it out. So my plan is to lay this over top of it. Then I'll sprinkle in my stars and I won't give extra stars around. I think I want to add some more shadows. Let's see what now. I have plans. I don't know how they will work, but I will work to see how they will go. But I love doing my stars this way. Use a toothbrush, actually. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some stars on there. Getting close to the edges. Whoop, making messes. I gotta cut them off camera. I'm glad I fixed that one mushroom right there because I really, really, really messed him up in the beginning. And then I painted him dark and he didn't look like the other guys. And one of these things were not like the other. And well, you know. All right, so I'm going to, yeah, that'll work. Leave that over top of it. Sprinkle my stars in as soon as this is... Ah, that's good. I touch it. Why did I touch it? I know this. Oh, good. <laughs> I stopped touching it. Well, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I will just go into some of the amethyst. I'm going to just bring in some more shading. 
can see that it goes unicorns and rainbows. You're still here. Yes. All right. So we're going in with some amethyst here. I'll have to wait till that dries. So coming on back. Let's see what I can muck about with here. I got some blue here I need to hide. Some other layers would look good. Oh, I could also do some outlining. I can start. Oh, well, now I already started painting. I gotta wait for outline. I gotta wait till it dries again. So with painting live, you see all my mistakes that I got to cover up. <laughs> Usually I can do it that way. I'm not one like when I'm filming for pagan crafting. If I like, I I just I was anointing a candle and it totally slipped and flew out of my hand and I kept it in. It's like you know what? We're human. It's gonna happen. But some things I definitely you got to edit out. Some of things just drag on when you're doing craftings. It's hard to watch the same thing. So I do do the speed up. I'll clean that up with an outline. There, I need some contrast in there. Slowly coming together. This is taking me forever. Oh, yeah, I was going to add some green in there. What do we got for? I want some sage green. What do we got for sage green here, my friend? All right, got a little bit of green here. I forgot. Is that dark enough? Hmm. But as green as greeny, greeny, green. It's like gangrene green. Well, it doesn't pop it as much as I thought it would, <laughs> but it brings out some depth. Well, I got a little bit of green in there. The only place I have some green. I might, I should bring up some green on the mushrooms maybe. They don't really have green that grows on them. I don't need to do that. I'm just starting to muck around because now I'm waiting for the paint to dry, literally. Oh, I have a drop right there. Ah. I'll see if I can go in with my Photoshop and clean that up and hide that. That really sucks. Makes it more authentic, I guess. It super sucks, so I'll see if I can go over it with some yellow. I see if I still have some yellow from the beginning. I'm so excited. Once I do the stars, I know that's not my last part of the painting. Well, that piece can come off. I 
Oops, sorry about that. And I put my, really? So if I can tone that down a little bit. And I see I want to put some little dots on the fungus on the moon. But where is my white? put some little dots do, 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 do. yeah that's what they needed I don't know if you can see them let's see if I can zoom in with my hands just a little bit I needed some something they look boring yeah they needed some little kisses Yeah, they needed sprinkles too. Excellent. Yeah, it kind of pops them out a little bit more. Gives them a little extra shine. I like in it. I'm holding my breath as I'm doing the dots. I just realized I'm like, <sighs> okay, I'm going to grab some tea. Yeah, I definitely got to figure out how to set up two cameras. Because it's cool to be able to see the creator too when I've watched other other but figure out they have the gaming the gamers can do like the see their face and then see their screen but I'm not recording my screen so there lies the task hmm Yeah, I guess I'll, magic of YouTube, I'll watch a few of YouTube videos, figure it out. There's got to be a way. So hopefully my next live crafting, I'll have a two camera. We shall see. See how like I can get it all set up. Okay, so that worked out nice. I got all my little dots on the little tree fungus. I don't know if I should make my shadowing a little bit darker. Hmm. I think I might do one more coat of shadow work, to be honest, around, around here around the base. I think I might do one more. All right. I think this one was thin enough. <coughs> Excuse me.
How does that look? Yeah, I think it just needs to pop out just a tiny bit more. Just a little bit more shadowing. Yeah. There's bugging me. I needed something a little bit more. Let's we'll see how that dries out. It'll probably dry out a little lighter, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm almost ready for the stars. If I go to see, oh shit. If I go too soon on the stars, they will all get all watered out. I guess it'd be a little shade there, a little shade here. And then once I outline it, it's going to pop it. I think I got to do just a one more shade here on these guys too. Just drop it in. Almost. Come on, dry. I just have this one spot here to dry. Then I can do the stars, the best part out of them all. And then I'm almost done at a four hour painting here. like pieces and pieces of that paintbrush yikes well, get my trusty star maker ready check it out I make all my stars with an old you can see how long I've been using it so I rub my finger to make my stars. That is the best tool ever to make stars. Ever, ever, ever. I'm telling you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try this titanium white ink. Usually I mix up watercolor, but I'm gonna try it out. See, I should do a test. <laughs> That's what I should, oh, it's, is it, how old is this? This is chunky old. Oh, it's got chunks in it. I'm not using it. Oh, I'm going to have to, I'll mix up some white. Not a disability. excited now watch the sprinkles come down if I should turn down this a little bit turn down my light
Alrighty, I gotta stand up for this one. Alrighty. Let's see if I can give you a close up. It turned out really nice. I think I want to. Uh... Hmm. Sorry, the camera's going opposite from where I want to go. Uh -huh. So that, that's going to focus, whew, that I think I'm done mucking about, my friends. So I think that will be, it's hard to see the stars, I wonder if I can turn off my light. Hmm focuses on a different way. Let's see if I can look at the different tones here. That really brings out the tones. Oh, that takes away the blues. It's such a shame that I I'm quite surprised how the camera will not pick up this aquamarine and mint and mint green. I have mint greens along here. <coughs> <coughs> so my next step is to re-outline it. So I'll probably will hit that later, but just for example, how much it's going to bring out the stars again. And we'll, I'll pop all that out, but I have this, I want to give it a probably good 24 hours where I'll do that. I probably won't wait 24 hours. I'll probably wait a couple hours after this and load this up tonight before I go to bed. Thank you so very much. I'm stoked with the sky. It turned out really great. I thought in the beginning I might have mucked it up. I have never painted a universe sky with water, the watercolor technique before. Usually I do a trash brushing with, uh, on thick, thick, thick canvas. So this was a, a good exercise for me for sure. Ooh, I need some more little stars in here. They're drying out. Hmm. I think what I might do is an, I'll probably grab a little, white gel pen and go back in with a little bit here and there because I like the little star kisses on the little fungus, the, the crescent fungus. So I think I'll probably bring, I'd like to get in some more stars in here. I see they're drying up a little bit too fast. But I really love, I love the layers that the, that the paint or the toothbrush will do because it'll give light ones and dark ones. Wow, I wish I could outline it right now. But this is on, this is wet. I got to be patient. I'm not patient. I'm an Aries. Not patient at all. <laughs> no, once I get something on my mind, I want to do it and I want to do it now. 
Not always the best trait, but it's an ambitious trait. Patience, I've had to learn patience is an absolute virtue in this lifetime for me. Holy Moses. <laughs> well, that is all I can do for today. I have had myself an absolute blast here. I'm going to talk with my hands because I, so you know that I'm still here. Um, this is cool been hanging out with you guys and talk and answering questions and stuff. And I hope to do a whole bunch more of these. And I wish you an absolutely magical, magical, magical day and an amazing weekend. Those of you who are watching this afterwards, sending you love and light. Many blessings to you as well. And... Well, everybody, thanks so very much for chilling out with me today. It's been an absolute pleasure, and have yourself a magical day. Many blessings to you as well, Tamara. And uh, what I'm going to send you that... Um, power animal guided guided journeying for you it's you're gonna love it it's my one of my most favorite ones i've ever found and i'm going to be actually modeling my guided meditation after this one i'm sending to you so you shall enjoy well my love all of you have a good one take care and i will see you in the next video i will see you on sunday at our premiere for some candle magic take care and thank you for hanging out with me today